Hello and welcome to all of you on my productive and industry oriented training platform. So whenever we are going to uh, discuss about the virtualization infrastructure, so the question is really important. And uh, most of the time candidates ask that uh, we need to gain knowledge on the platform of VMware or we need to select the Hyper-V or is there any third party platform which is generally recommended by the IT industry. So my answer is really simple that uh, you don't need to go with any vendor specific certification. The important thing is that uh, you need to understand the technology. So same goes for the Hyper-V. So when we talk about the virtualization industry, so there is the concept of hypervisor, a kind of operating system which has the capability to uh, convert all hardware components. It might be compute, storage or network into software components. So any uh, hypervisor just have the capability that it will convert the physical storage into software defined storage and in the same manner if we talk about the networking industry so uh, all hypervisors have the capacity that they will convert the uh, physical networks into logical networks that's why the new term is introduced and that term is called software defined networks and same goes for the compute area as well so that's why I, I answer that you need to understand the architecture of hypervisor. When you have the architecture, so you can easily work on the platform of VMware, Hyper-V, KVM and other virtualization platforms. So uh, whenever we talk about uh, any hypervisor, so uh, the, generally this, this hypervisor provide an uh, a kind of application layer which generally communicate between operating system and uh, its hardware. So uh, whenever we talk about the hype of VMware, so VMware have an operating system which is known as ESXi. Okay, and in the same manner, Microsoft have uh, the, the application which is known as Hyper-V and both are working almost in the same manner because they are the hypervisors. So they just communicate between operating system and the hardware and the working parameters are also same. So uh, the features which provide by the VMware and uh, Hyper-V and other platforms are almost same. It might be a uh, little bit minor differences, but most of the time all the parameters related with the deployment, configuration, management, monitoring are almost same. So if you can take the example uh, about the uh, virtualization infrastructure, so uh, on the platform of uh, Hyper-V, it will provide uh, virtual switches and same in the same manner, uh, VMware also provide the virtual switches. And uh, VMware have two types of switches while uh, Hyper-V have three types of uh, virtual switches. Uh, does VMware support live migration? Yes, of course. Why not? Because the VMware has the capacity to build the software defined data center. So uh, all the functions and parameters which generally required by the current enterprise data center. So all these parameters and features are available with the VMware. And in the same manner, if we talk about the uh, Hyper-V, does Hyper-V support live migration? Yes, of course. Can we deploy software defined networks inside the uh, Microsoft operating system? Yes, definitely you can do this stuff. And in the other uh, side, if you want to deploy any kind of hyper converge infrastructure, HCI or software defined data centers or software defined storage or software defined networks, so all these features are available on the platform of VMware, Hyper-V, KVM. But the thing is that there are little bit differences uh, regarding the deployment and implementation options. Now, if we talk about the management side, so uh, if I have uh, uh, five or 10 hosts on the platform of uh, uh, Hyper-V, so how we can manage all these hosts? Is there any centralized tool available? Yes, of course, there is a centralized tool which is known as virtual machine manager. And what if we have uh, 
uh, 5 to 10 host on the platform of VMware. Is there any centralized tool available uh, uh, with the help of which I can manage all these hosts? Yes, of course. And this, uh, this application is known as vCenter. So uh, there are management applications also available on both platforms. And in the same manner, if I talk that, uh, uh, is there any tool available which control the live migration? Yes. On the platform of VMware, we have vMotion, which migrate a single VM or multiple VMs from one host to another host. And in the same manner, uh, SDN is also available on the platform of Hyper-V. So it means that uh, you need to focus on the uh, on the technological side ra rather than we are going to make ourselves specific with the vendor. It might be Hyper-V, VMware, KVM or uh, any other application regarding the virtualization. So, because right now, if we talk about the current IT industry, so uh, generally all customers, uh, all employers, uh, all clients need a person which provides solution for their problems. So, if we stick to the single product so it will be not possible it, it is not possible for us to provide solutions on all other platforms so that's why i recommend that you must have to consider all the virtualization uh, platforms it will help you in the industry it will also uh, more beneficial for your career growth for your uh, uh, consult uh, if, if we talk about the consultation side so definitely you can get more projects when you have multiple platform experience so uh, all uh, this this uh, this format is called a comparative type of study so uh, for that purpose we built a complete course uh, which is available on my digital platform and the link will be available inside the description so you can enjoy a uh, deployments concepts and all other aspects regarding the vmware and hyper-v as well and if you have any feedback uh, or if you have any questions regarding the deployment of virtualization infrastructure, so feel free to ask. So, uh, is there if, if you have any suggestions on which you want to uh, produce content regarding the virtualization, so you can also update us about your feedback and about your queries as well. Thank you very much.